Hi, my name is Mark Herman. I'm the Dean of the School of Management. I would like to welcome you to Econ 321, Intermediate Microeconomics. This class builds on economics that you've had at the uh, freshman and sophomore level. And what we will do is go more into depth into some very interesting topics. We'll use both graphical analysis and math, some algebra and calculus. This course is both theoretical and applied. Economics really is a set of tools and it becomes useful when you can solve problems. One of the reasons that one of the reasons that I really like this book by Robert Frank is because he talks about economics in the economic way of thinking. And it's really chapter one that grabbed me when I first read this. Robert Frank is a famous economist who works at Cornell University. He has a master's degree in statistics and a doctorate degree from University of California, Berkeley. I also draw on a second book, although not enough to have you order it, and that is Frico Economics. Frico Economics is written by Stephen Levitt, and I have the website below. If you're interested in looking at that website, there's a lot of different fascinating type blogs. And so I'll tell you just a little bit about myself. I have a bachelor's and master's degree in agricultural economics from the New University of California, Davis, and a doctorate degree from Washington State University, also in agricultural economics. I got my doctorate degree in 1990, and my dissertation was looking at salmon farming in Puget Sound, Washington, and the effects that salmon farming around the world would have on the world salmon markets. I came to Fairbanks, Alaska in 1990, working on the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1991, took my job as a fisheries economist at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, where I uh, worked as a fisheries economist until 2007, at which time I became the Dean of the School of Management. I am very much looking forward to teaching this course, but I want to give you one note of caution. If you've not taken an online course before, it does involve a lot of self-discipline. Now this class, unlike many of the other types of uh, online delivery courses, does have weekly deadlines. So you'll be doing lectures, turning in homework weekly, and it will also have exams that will not be taken online. The exams can either be taken at eLearning here in Fairbanks, Alaska, or they will be set up by eLearning and you can take them proctored. All exams will be taken without notes and they will be done with pencil and, and pen. The course content that we've given you through this distance course will be the same as if I was teaching it online. So, so to get started, you should go to the Blackboard site under course information and there will be a welcome letter that will give you just a little bit more about the course. But then go ahead and read the course syllabi. And the last page of the course syllabi will give you more of a detailed list of how we will go through this class. Then once you've done that, go ahead and get started with week one, which is under weekly assignments. Thank you. Hope you have a great course.